Hey guys, what is good? Luke here back with a brand new video. So there are lots of things I get suggestions for, but this is probably at the top of that list. A massive cleat hunt at stores like Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and more. So basically, I recently hit 500k on Instagram, and I want to do something special. So I'm driving all the way down to Jersey so I can hit a bunch of stores, and the best thing I find, I'll be giving away at the end of this video. Let's do it. Alright, so store number one is Burlington Coat Factory. I've had a ton of success here in the past. This is uncharted territory for me. We're right by Hartford, Connecticut. Let's do it. So we're starting out in the men's shoe section. It looks pretty big. Let's hope we can find something. Alright, so not a bad start here. We have a pair of the pretty recently released Magista Obra indoors. This is a takedown, but they do have a collar for 35 bucks. Not a horrible find. All right, so right away we found a few other colorways. We have the Tiempo and the Hyper Venom. These things are both pretty nice. These ones are a takedown, but these ones here are actually really good, both for 35 bucks. All right, so the indoor section at this store is popping off. We have literally every silo here. These Tiempos here are actually really nice, 35 bucks again, and this is the actual leather version, so that's a good find there. All right, I'm not gonna lie, for a first stop, that was actually pretty good. Like, I don't think we found anything that was like worth copying, but there was a lot of decent indoors in there. On to the next one. Store number two is yet another Burlington. So the shoe section in this Burlington was quite a bit smaller. They had a few pairs of okay shoes, like decent football cleats, but right off the bat, I really didn't see anything good for soccer. Bro, what? Yet again, one more pair of those Hyper Venoms. Nothing too good, but that's the first find in this store. Then one more pair of those same takedown Tiempos. Except for those indoors, there was literally nothing else except for a few non-licensed kits. All right, so that Burlington was pretty eh. We kind of saw the same stuff as the last one, but in less quantity. I'm getting a sneaking suspicion that all those Burlingtons are gonna have pretty similar stuff. So next up, I wanna switch it up and head to a Marshalls and eventually Ross. Sadly, there was literally nothing at the store, though. I hate to talk bad about a Marshalls, but that, that was not the store. At this point, I decided we had to go hard, and we weren't going to find anything if we stayed close to home. So with that, I drove another 150 miles out, past New York City, all the way down to Trenton, New Jersey. All this effort was for one store, Ross. Folks, after 150 more miles from the last Marshalls, we finally made it to Ross. It has literally been three or four years since I've been in one of these stores because I live very far away from them. I'm very excited. Let's get inside. But it was still more of the same. Takedown boots and American football cleats. Nothing soccer. Actually, in the women's section are a pair of Ace 17.2s in the launch colorway. These things are okay. It's not anything to write home about, but I think they retail at over a hundred bucks and they are here for 33. Not a bad find. First decent jersey find of the day is a Spain kit, 30 bucks at Ross instead of 90. There was definitely some potential there. The Spain kit wasn't bad and those aces were kind of decent. Now we're gonna drive another 20 minutes out to another Ross store and then hit some Marshalls on the way back. I'll see you there. So this shoe section is literally massive. It goes all the way down there. So I have high hopes. A little something something off the bat are these Hyper Venoms for 25 bucks. Again, take down model, but still good to see. Two more pairs, A17.3s and Evo Speed 4s. Nothing too nice. Then over here looks like some lifestyle tiempos. Not a bad find. And that's when it finally happened. All right, so the finds are getting better. We just kind of randomly hit a jackpot here. A pair of Superfly Indoors, the turf version for 25 bucks. Pretty sick colorway. That might be a cop. 
There's also a sick Columbus Crew jersey. I believe that's the away kit for 15 bucks. That's an awesome deal on a $90 jersey. All right, first actual good find of the day are these things. I just picked them up for 25 bucks. Again, they retail at around $175, so that's a really, really good deal. As it stands right now, I'm gonna give these away to one of you guys. They are a size nine. If I don't find anything better, then this is what I'm giving away. If I do, I plan to give away some better stuff. Now we're gonna head up to another Ross and a few more Marshalls on the way. I'll see you guys at those stores. A bit of a surprise stop here is one more Burlington. It's our fourth of the day. We're en route to a Ross and we just passed by it, so. Now at this point in the day, I've honestly kind of had enough with Burlington. I've been to multiple stores and literally found the same things at every one. What a surprise. More indoor hypervenoms. Yet again, a takedown. This is getting ridiculous. Now we're driving 10 miles over to a Ross and Marshalls. Burlington has been pretty dry today, so hopefully get some better luck at those stores. Now that is a sight that I can get used to seeing. Just pulled up in our third and probably final Ross of the day. You guys know the drill, men's shoes first. Yeah, these ones are super easy to spot. Boys, we have done it again. New Balance Bizarro, $16.99. Then right after the New Balances, I found a pair of Mercurial Superfly Lifestyle shoes for $65. One more top end here, Under Armour Spotlight Pro, $40. Bucks. Another $200 shoe, pretty good price, not good enough though. All right, so there's actually nothing in that TJ's, so I'm not even gonna bother showing it. But as you just saw, Ross had those New Balance Vizarro ones in the orange colorway. 17 bucks for a $220 shoe is a great deal. I actually passed on them because A, they weren't my size, B, I'd rather somebody else get them, and C, I feel like most people generally would want those Mercurials more than the New Balances if I was doing a giveaway. So yeah, on to Marshalls. All the marshals we've been to today have been like really, really dry. But we're gonna check out one more here in Jersey. Honestly, my hopes are pretty high for this marshals. This one here was the first one that actually looked good on the whole day. The other two were pretty weak. Right away, we're a pair of Lifestyle Tampa Legends for 40 bucks on clearance. Then some pretty cool Nike FC Hyper Venoms for 48. A little too flashy for my liking, but a pretty cool pair of shoes nonetheless. After those, we're finally a top in pair of boots at Marshalls. Under Armour Speed Form Leather for 20 bucks. Then my last time of the day, which actually looks pretty nice from far away, a pair of Mercurial Victories. And then after a successful day of hunting, it was time to make the four and a half hour drive